Hey guys, welcome to another video for the Redmi K20 Pro, the Mi 90 Pro and in today's video we're going to talk about Android 12 Beta 4. Now after yesterday's install and preview video, somebody asked me can we use this as a daily driver? That's when it clicked to me that while I do my review, I should keep into consideration things that will matter when you want to use this particular ROM as a daily driver. So not only we're going to have a look at all the features that come with Android 12 Beta 4, we are also going to check what are the factors that could impact you from using this as a daily driver or you should be able to use it as a daily driver or not but before we get into all of that if you haven't already please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video in the description of each video you will find a link to our telegram community where you have more than a thousand like-minded people with similar devices talking about custom ROMs routing flashing and all sorts of interesting stuff so join us there last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel. Now, without further ado, hello, awesome people. Welcome to PhoneOps. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so right off the bat, first thing that we'll talk about, what is the team that developed this particular port saying? Now we have Pixel 5 Beta 4 GSI Android 12 updated on the 16th of August. Integers Xiaomi parts, pop-up work by default with sound effect thanks to this particular person. Dual SIM, NFC and Volti have been enabled. So that's one answer for your daily driver. Double tap to wake fixed. Fall detection is added, that is for the front camera. You may flash any OSS kernel you want. Okay, that's great. So you can actually flash things like Soviet Star and stuff like that. Now. There is a recommended recovery over here. Most of everything works. G apps are included, flash, zip, and if encrypted, then DFE. Only this, and you must be on AOSP before. So as I showed in my install video, you need to be on a AOSP custom ROM. FOD doesn't work, and that's pretty self-explanatory. Fixed heating and battery drain. It takes time to set it up. All right, so that's everything that they are saying. I have gone through the group chats, and I have read what things people are experiencing and what issues you might be having and you might not be having and stuff like that so first you know let's go ahead and talk about the part wherein we look at android 12 how it looks what are the features they are working and towards the end we will talk about some benchmarks and we will also talk about the daily usage possibility of this particular rom now when you come to the main screen of android 12 beta 4 you are greeted with a very very beautiful simple layout in which you have this widget over here which has the date and uh, weather and the bottom you have rounded icons and a google search bar now this is of course pure android so to the left we already have google discover and it's, it works butter smooth i am surprised by how smooth this rom feels on the k20 pro even though this device has a 60 hertz display goes on to say that you know even on 60 hertz display if you make the software right you can have a very very good experience that also brings me to mention that the pixel 5a has been launched so even that device comes with a mid-range 700 series chipset and a 60 hertz display but because it is a pixel the software makes all the difference let's not get diverted over here so if you swipe from the top to bottom like this you will have your quick tiles in the proper monet ui style as you can see over here you do have all the interesting things that you would usually use you do have the power option over here in the center that is something new and the rounded power menu so over here there is a shortcut to go to settings and if you click on the edit option you will see that you have a lot of additional features for example mic access now as i said this is something which is really really useful Location is something which was there, but camera access is something that is useful as well. Apart from this, you have something called as extra dim. I think that might be a pixel feature or an Android 12 feature. Nothing more interesting there. But as you can see over here, let's first have a look at device controls. So this is the, you know, automation home control. Now, if you click on mic access, none of the applications, phone calls, anything will be able to access mic so that's a pretty nifty shortcut camera access blocked location on off it has been there all this while so that's pretty pretty neat and as you can see over here it does say airtel wi-fi calling i did try making a call and voice over lt and wi-fi calling for me has been working absolutely fine the only thing that i have not been able to test is carrier video calling because most of my contacts are either on apps or they don't video call me so <laughs> you can test it out for yourself nonetheless uh, then you have the app drawer and if we talk about home settings over here 
you do have add app icons to home screen swipe to access google app overview suggestions allow home screen rotation and you do have your very very basic pure android launcher at the top of your home screen there is a live space which can give you access to all these things and as i said over here you have your usual app drawer as well now when this rom boots it doesn't really come with any bloatware it comes with very very basic and very very essential google services which you would need so you know the rom is not heavy when it comes to applications that are pre-installed it's just some google stuff that you would need anyways now let's move to the interesting part let's move to android 12 settings now if you go to network and internet over here you do see that in internet it says kratos 390 that's our wi-fi so if you go to setting go to the settings of the wi-fi connection you will notice this is more or less just like android 11 there are just a few tweaks here and there now this particular option is known as add device so you can use a qr code to add this particular Wi-Fi or you know add any particular Wi-Fi access point so that's good these are all the Wi-Fi networks available 5 gigahertz is working as expected turn on Wi-Fi automatically Wi-Fi will turn on near high quality saved networks like your home network notify for public networks I'll keep that on and you have Wi-Fi direct as well a long forgotten feature which I don't think many people use these days now if you go to calls and SMS over here right you will see that it has airtel wi-fi calling there you go call over wi-fi if you disable then you will have the additional options and as it was mentioned in the change log well dual sim enabled voice over lt has been enabled now moving on you have hotspot and that ring which is working absolutely fine for me i did go ahead and test that you have vpn and i think it, the vpn part is where only uh, the google one vpn is working i read somewhere on the group chat so that is that there is adaptive connectivity as well now you have apps over here so default apps game settings you do have sort of a game dashboard show game dashboard shortcut in games right now we don't really have a game installed over here but say let's let's quickly go ahead and test this real time because it will not take a lot of time let's let's go to subway surface real quick yeah this is a game that i used to play back in the day so while this installs, let's go back to settings. We'll get back to game dashboard. And apart from this, you have assistant. So a dedicated settings for assistant. You have continued conversation, long press power for assistant. You can go ahead and you know enable that, see all assistant settings. So it actually needed that, to be honest. I, I felt that it needed that. Digital well-being is now known as screen time. And as you can see, it has all the you know detailed information and you also have something called a special app access in which you can mention uh, in which you can go ahead and check the access for all the other applications now you do have something called as notifications you can enable or disable notifications for individual apps over here you have conversations you have bubbles so remember whatsapp doesn't show bubbles doesn't support bubbles yet so enhanced notification get suggested actions replies and more Okay, and enhanced notification replaced Android adapter notification Android tell this feature shows suggested actions replies okay so we can keep that on notifications on lock screen usual stuff nothing nothing major over there let's see if subway surfers has installed for us there you go it has okay so this is your game space icon and something really really interesting now although I have been through so many betas of Android 12 this is the first time I'm having a look at it now what's what do we have over here screenshot shortcut there you go is available this is your screen recorder recording shortcut is available fps okay and you can stream your gameplay to youtube live so add something pretty nifty over here i think i might make a dedicated video once android 12 is out because as you can see over here you have the fps meter over here you have the game recorder over here and uh, if you click on this you get access to all of this so let's go to settings over here okay it just takes you here and let's go to recording over here it device audio and microphone see so it also allows you to record internal and external audio now something that is really really interesting for me and for gamers who don't really have a pc and you want to stream from phone uh, I really hope that the Android 12 stable port becomes a really, really good port for the K20 Pro, the Poco X3 Pro and the Mi 11X because then for people who would want to record their gameplay or stream directly from the phone, you know, for the FPS, you don't really need uh, a 
different app for example now as you can see over here no i'm not 61 years old relax i just put it for the heck of it anyways this is pretty pretty neat and it it is really really nice so i'm glad i checked it out i didn't pay attention to that matter of fact now that makes me want to try to stream bgmi directly from the phone on the k20 pro and the, the poco x3 pro that would be a very very interesting experiment right guys like the video let me know in the comment section if you want me to try that like streaming directly from phone using android 12 beta and stuff like that now let's move on over here so you do have battery over here you do have adaptive battery now the battery life for me has been pretty pretty decent i've not had any major issues when it comes to the battery life you do see over here that uh, we have been using the phone from 100 to some 95 96 percent since last night so i and over here you do see that you have 51 minutes of screen on time we still have 59 percent of battery you can go ahead and enable the battery percentage and then you have sound and vibration in which you can set your ringtone and all the advanced features are there vibration control is there as well now you have something interesting over here which is display you have screen timeout night light increased touch sensitivity so that's going to be useful for me when i'm using gloves and riding outdoors you do have dc dimming as well so that is something really really neat and you do have an option of display colors enable display color configuration so i don't know why but for some reason it is uh yeah it is disabled why is it disabled let me check no i don't know it was not dc dimming for some reason that particular feature is Disable now we have something called as wallpaper and style change wallpaper okay curated culture so the amazing uh, vibrant google wallpapers are available here and as you can see the monet ui changes in a glimpse over here so let's try to change the wallpaper once again let's maybe go to this particular shade over here and uh, home screen and lock screen okay it stays black but this accent color looks better so yeah wallpaper customization is there you can choose different sets of custom colors as far as the ui is concerned there you go you can choose basic color as well so wallpaper and style a very very interesting way to customize your android 12 powered device there then you have your accessibility options and uh, under security of course fod is not working right it's definitely not working it's checking for a google system update there you go it says first may 2021 pixel imprint is not working and uh, i don't see a face unlock option right so that feature is still not there and i really hope in future they somehow try to fix it right now apart from this you have safety and emergency and you also have password and account wherein all your accounts and stuff is present and under system you do have front camera settings so you can enable or disable the camera led and you can go ahead and calibrate the front camera if you are having any issues with the front camera you can actually go ahead and calibrate the camera couldn't calibrate okay that's really weird so let's okay so let's maybe try calibrating once again let's go to settings over here system front camera settings calibration calibrate okay for some reason it is giving me error in the morning it was working fine so it is a beta by google and then it is a port so i can't say much there apart from that you do have your gestures quick tap right so that's the back tap gesture take screenshot and stuff like that i have not tried it i don't think it works Quickly open camera, system navigation, press and hold the power button. You have an option to hold for assistant over here. Apart from that, you have backup, you have system update and stuff like that. Of course, this is not going to work because you are in a ported ROM. And apart from this, you just have your about phone, wherein if you go to, say, your Android 12, you do have your August security patch, Android 12 Easter egg over here. So as you can have a look, there you go. Yeah. So that's everything about the ROM that I have experienced so far. Now let's talk about the important stuff. First thing that is important for everyone is safety net because you want to use banking applications, right? Well, unfortunately, safety net is broken. So you can use Majisk to fix that. That is one way of doing it. Apart from that, what about HD playback? From the looks of it, in DRM info, you do have Widewind L1 certification. It should work just fine for the K20 Pro. Let me know in the comment section if it is working or not and I can go ahead and pin it. 
fast charging well fast charging is working fine for me did i notice any major bugs which would not allow me to use this phone as a daily driver not many yet but considering it is a beta there might be some bugs here and there just now you saw that you know the couldn't calibrate camera error is there so if i restart the phone that might go away i don't really know for my camera duties i have chosen google cam or g cam which has been working just fine but i don't know what has happened now but so far it was working perfectly fine so as i said fast charging is working battery backup is pretty decent voice calls are working fine you can give camera access and use video calls as well you can play games and you can also flash your oss based kernel so although this is beta you can pretty much use this as a daily driver if you can do a few compromises for example when gcam is working fine switching between lenses take like takes like half a second and stuff like that now let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the benchmark numbers over here so first things first let's have a look at the cpu throttle test so this is the cpu throttle test cpu throttled to 90 percent of its max performance and the average score was 154,442. now this is not a out of the world performance like yap with so soviet kernel or siberia with soviet kernel but this is a pretty pretty consistent and good score now if we move on to the second benchmark that we had a look at so this is the score 686 and 1995 now i know this is not the highest score but this is what it has scored and uh, maybe i'll try to game on it and i can maybe you know do a live stream directly from the device so all in all if you ask me you can pretty much use this android 12 beta 4 as a daily driver you might have to get you know going with some things to adjust here and there so that you can make this rom capable of being used as your daily driver like installing the correct gcam and the xml and stuff like that and after that i think it's a pretty pretty decent experience especially with the game space experience and uh, the latest android version thing and stuff like that so that's the complete review of android 12 beta 4 on the redmi k20 pro this video is a little long but i wanted to elaborate because a lot of people had questions let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video until the next one this is kalash signing off at phone ops keep smiling take care goodbye